Well, you know, the old thing is knowledge is power. And in this case, for sure. Um, a lot of my colleagues, um, even four or five years ago, had no clue. Uh, even two years ago, had no clue. It's getting better and awareness is increasing as, as the press is writing about it, the mainstream press, social media has things on it. So a lot of doctors are becoming aware of visual snow syndrome. So the key thing is education, education, education. And I mean, you know, I think, um, I think a patient is their own best advocate, patient and families. So uh, either, either patients who suffer from visual snow syndrome or their families can do a lot to educate us physicians. Um, and we learn, I mean, every day of my life I learn from my patients. And so learning goes both ways. So I think what you can do is, there's a lot of stuff um, online, uh, there's different organizations. The Visual Snow Initiative has a Facebook site, has an Instagram site, there's lots of materials that you can print out. And what I would do is I would be proactive about this and really educate your physician. So if you think you're suffering from Visual Snow Syndrome, what I would advise is see your family doctor first, take some articles um, from the Visual Snow Initiative, uh, from, from wherever you can find on Visual Snow Syndrome, and take it to your doctor, print it out, take it to your doctor, say, listen, this is what I think I have. Um, and you know, uh, a family doctor is your, is your gateway into the health system. So they'll be able to kind of triage and, and organize where to send you after they read this article. And I think it's gonna help them a lot because they will learn as well. So, so you'll be educating them and helping other patients. The other thing is that I know the Visual Snow Initiative, for example, is going to be publishing, or they already have or are in the process of doing it, a list of all physicians around the world who treat Visual Snow Syndrome. And so one thing would be, say, if you're, um, you know, wherever you are in the world, uh, if you can find a physician in your area or close to where you are that treats Visual Snow Syndrome, you can ask your family doctor uh, or your primary care or your eye, eye physician, your neurologist, whoever you see first, to maybe refer you to this doctor. And I think that will go a long ways in educating, them, in, in educating uh, the medical system and increasing awareness.